for this. It's been a wonderful week of sharing stories from the Pacific on our unique challenges to leading schools and leading education. So I think one of the value of this gathering is drawing um, strength from one another, uh, sharing our challenges and knowing that there are others who are doing, going through the same, same issues and same challenges. And so it's been a wonderful week of encouraging one another, of uh, refocusing our attention on the role of a school principal in the school, and also thinking about the future and how could school leaders continue to improve our schools and improve learning for our children. Is the recognition that as school leaders, we also need to be um, paying attention to our role during natural disasters, um, especially around the area of disaster risk management. I think that's really important one that came up during the summit. And the other one is focusing in a lot more on the role as an instructional leader and improving learning for our children in the classroom, that that is a key role of being a school leader. So those will be my two main takeaway messages from this week. So what we're doing now is recasting the new regional capability and standards. And from there, we hope that countries will be able to see value in the regional collective good and draw down from it either by adopting or adapting and contextualizing into their own context. We recognize that all of our countries have their own national standards and those are well respected. So the role of the regional tool is really to say, how much more could we help you, um, support you in your role in, in um, developing school leaders and in the region. So that is the hope for the future is from this regional good, we could also um, build school leaders around the region.